We rolling? Yeah, we good. Hey, listen, y'all. We getting ready to close out this word, man. I'm going to have the elder, man, do the honors of uh, bringing out this last scripture. Um, elder, man, can you be so kind to bring that Hebrews 10, 31? And as he bring that scripture out, I'm just going to say this, man. The Lord is on a killing spree. He, he doesn't stop. So the question I'm going to ask is, how many more bodies do the Lord got to give before you get on the phone and hit his line and repent? And say you don't want none. You said three? Hebrews 10, 31. Oh. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, and it reads, It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So what are we saying, dude? The Lord, once he get on your ass, that's it. It's funny because <laughs> there is no loan sharking. Yeah, so like these negotiations that we do in our mind, right? To where we say, "Man, I don't want to die instantly because if you if you die, if say for instance you get a diagnosis, you got cancer. Oh, you got a year to live. So for that next year, you're gonna be on your best behavior and trying to get right with God. Don't you know God's smart enough to know that?" You full of shit. Right. So right. So it's like so it's like it's like he know you full of shit. But I guess that he would say you had an opportunity to double down and you didn't. But don't think that I don't know you. You ain't slick. Think about it, I read, so, read right. Read that one more time. Hebrews ten thirty one. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So guess what, bro? By the time the Lord, by the time the Lord get on your ass, repenting is too late. Right. Changing your life up and trying to live right. Oh, it's too late. See, we, we've been looking at this thing the wrong way. So we have an example. His father died slow. Facts. Mine died instantly. Now, Thanks. now, what's the fear of a nigga dying like my father? You know, you might have been doing some buck shit and didn't get a chance to say, hey, the Lord, you know, chill out. But at the same time. Right, he ain't, he's smarter than that. He like, nigga, yeah. I know you. Kind yeah. of better off. Yeah. Right, well, no. stack up the... No, it's, it's <laughs> trying really... To, trying to lie around and you stacking up your bullshit. Right, but really, <laughs> if that. you really pay attention to Lord, like... Nigga, you do realize by the time I killed you, I had already tallied up. Yeah, that that's the point. That's so you, saying. so you, you, if you were laying in the hospital bed, you would tallied up before that. So basically, I, so basically, I, so this, so, so it don't matter. So because I'm not that fucking stupid, you see. So basically, what you said, I, I'm a anatomy. I'm gonna see if I can reenact this. What my brother said is, let's say, let's say. A wicked, super nasty, disgusting nigga, right? He do all type of fuck shit, and then he gets to a place where he has a life-changing incident where his life's looking more towards death and life. And now, all of a sudden, this book that's been around every day of his life, him doing that fuck shit, now he want to grab it and be like, oh, man. No, now, right. Now, guess what the Lord going to do? The Lord going to be like, I like I like the way you die, boy. Problem is, you was gonna get dead anyway. So you need to go in. You can keep it open, but you need to close that. <laughs> because, because you did a whole bunch of fuck shit you gotta pay for. It. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna say I forgive you. But that's not gonna take the AIDS out your system. You already got that. <laughs> so you can do all that praying you want. And yeah, I forgive you for fucking, but you got that. Can you please take this away? Now see, now you talking miracles. And uh, miracles cost me. <laughs> you ain't got no money. <laughs> and I, if you have money, I won't even take currency. Next to your ass, own a couple motherfucking shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, six to be exact. You own six shoulders. You own some motherfucking shoulders if you ain't had the money. Right. And guess what the money is? Yo deeds, bro. Yo deeds. You ain't got you ain't had the money, bro. Think about it. I this is what y'all need to understand, dude. Okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna sit up when I say this. Hey, I, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 
Ain't that what he did? He said, now you know, you take this money. Yeah. Right. That's a contract. Dog, you know you you robbing a nigga when you put 40 G's in his hand and be like, now you know if you take this 40,000. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. And he's giving you 40 G's. Right. Mm -hmm. That that make a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Hey, you see Q be like, hold on. You fucking me somehow. Right. This, cause, cause 40 G, my shop ain't worth 40 G, but you like, now nah, nigga. Ain't no renege, you know, once I could. Nigga, this shop worth eight G's. You give me 40 talking about nigga. Y'all already know. <laughs> yeah, fucking you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna say to y'all, man, as we already close out. My brother brought you the scripture. Ish, I want you to get bring the precept out. Deuteronomy 32, 39. My brother did a eloquent understanding of when the Lord is ready to do that shit that he do, it's too late to get right. You supposed to <laughs> get right overnight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I'm sorry, God. Nigga, you ain't, you do that whole thing on the cross with Barabbas. If that, if you for the bank, first of all, you have to understand something <laughs> about the Lord. He's not a negotiator. At all. He's a player hater. Absolutely. He's a player hater. Not a negotiator. Facts. So you have to understand something. He hating on your whole demonstration. You don't got no leverage. Right. Right. He's <laughs> hating on your whole demonstration. <laughs> Fuck you gonna do. I'm gonna prove it to you. Ain't you jealous? Go ahead. I'm gonna do what I was supposed to do. do the, Fuck out of here. You niggas. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Uh, man, I thought Boosie supposed to have that nigga back, man. He bogus for letting dog get killed. Dog supposed to have that nigga back. Not according to that scripture. Yeah. Ain't no back. No. Bro. Ain't no having. <laughs> Ain't no having nothing. <laughs> it's ass when I want ass. <laughs> And neither, <laughs> no man, can deliver you. Check this out. This is, um... That's beautiful, This bro. is, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. I thought niggas supposed to go to college and then dunk. See, I need that. What was that? Ecclesiastes 12, 13. I thought niggas supposed to go to college and dunk. He do. The college of Yahweh. It say, for fear, fear the Lord and keep his commandments, for this is the whole... Do he said, that's Stop everything. There. Stop there, bro. Bring that out one more time. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Listen up, man. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Stop there. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That means shut the fuck up and listen to the totality of all your shit right. from the day you was born till today. Right. Hey, P and B Rock, this is for your spirit and every nigga like you. Keep when going, you bro. was in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, was you going by this? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of you niggas. So what you're saying, Ak, is your, your only purpose once you was born on this earth, mm -hmm. from the time you live to the time you die, the only fucking thing you should have been doing was operating in the fear of and obedience of the Lord. Anything else, you're fucked. Now check this out. Because of Hollywood, oh wait till you see this documentary. Niggas have a totally skewed understanding of what they supposed to be doing in life. Because of Hollywood, niggas think that God wants them to be successful. Mm -hmm. You, I, you just told and you I say it like that on purpose. Successful. I know it's successful. S C C E S S. But I like to say successful, because you know how what niggas say. Success, man, that nigga successful, man. So hold on, brother. Successful. Elder. You know, nigga want to be successful. Hold on, elder. We Don't have, you want to be successful? Yeah. We have a we have a discrepancy. We have a spiritual discrepancy <laughs> here, Ish. Okay, you got rappers, athletes, teachers, lawyers, judges, 
police officers. You got all these successful professions. But according to Ecclesiastes 12, 13. You can be a bum under a bridge shitting on them. A according to that, all that shit is vain. What is a You're more school? likely to be the bum under the bridge. This is what they did. They created the world to sell to you. So you're not even supposed to have no car. Wanna know why? Because the reason that you wanted a car is because the Jews was like, wait a minute. It's a perfect opportunity to make money in medical bit world and in industry. Sell them a car. Check this out, bro. Right, and then they'll slave for them if we make it look like a status symbol. Niggas don't even know the origins of car love is a Jewish interjection into your mind to fuck you up. It's, it's, they admit it like, oh, yeah, you went back far enough in history to realize that the car was the, was the, yeah, it fucked you up. We, we put all of your idealisms, we put ideas of idealism. Facts. What, let me, let me phrase that. We put, they put Jewish ideal, ideas of their idealism. Okay into your mind and then you think it's your thoughts and the nigga woman you can't tell her that the thoughts that she was born with under Jewish control are not hers her mind don't work outside the matrix a nigga woman like I know like even with my wife my wife is very very submissive but if I try to tell her babe stop watching this shit the Jews made this shit to go inside black women's minds and Shame. fuck their mind up. No, no, I can I don't I ain't watching it for that. I then in the same sentence. <laughs> she'll say, Oh, she out of order. She arguing with her and it, she don't even realize it's TV. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it does to the female mind. So once Jews figure that out, they hit the black woman with that feminist shit. Then they hit her with these housewives shows. Those are very strategic Jewish programming. That's why Andy Cohen is the motherfucker who sit up there and do the shit. He Jewish. Facts. It's all Jewish. All them songs that you learned back in the day, all that HV died to the back to the lie, after the lie to the lie, all that shit. Jewish people came up with that shit. Think about it, bro. All them songs that you sang as a kid and just loved them. Jewish programming, all of it. Think about when it. You watch the DVD, it's gonna fuck you up. As we get ready to close, they have interjected their brain on top of yours and closed yours in underneath theirs, like the McDonald's arches. Hold his down. Let's replace his brain with ours. Okay. Check this out, y'all. Bro, you still got that Ecclesiastes 12 13, right? Ish, I want you to grab Proverbs 9 and 10. We, what I'm finna show y'all, if y'all don't get nothing else from any and everything we said today, these two scriptures, okay, this is, y'all finna see the magic, how Yahweh do the magic with this, right? This is what, what I'm finna show you, this is what separates us from you greasy, sleazy, pastor, pork chop, stankin' ass. <laughs> Niggas in the pulpit that's playing with this. We are very <laughs> thorough with this book, and we'll slice your ass with it. We finna show you a beautiful, eloquent demonstration of how you know when the Lord is dealing. Finna show you something as we close this word off. Bro, can you be so kind one more time to give them Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and then Ish, behind him, I want you to give them the Proverbs 9 and 10. And watch how this play out, bro. I don't even, I'm, I'm excited. I already know when you do that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Can you come with that Proverbs 9 and 10? Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay. Understanding. This is what I want to say. To understanding. You, to all of you fuckers out there. <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> okay. 
your house, your cars, your establishment, all of that means absolutely nothing. The money, the billion dollars that everybody want to have is right fucking here. This is the million dollars. And the two scriptures that you just heard gets you quadrillion dollar currency. And it's just one thing you got to do to get all the money. All the money. I, it's to fear who? Yeah. That's it. That's your only purpose in life. Ah, that's one mission. That that's one goal. No, that's what you believe in. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all, when Jake say that, I be on my, I should kill this nigga. Yeah. Ah, I want you, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Listen to this as we close out. That's what you believe in. <laughs> Dog, I be looking like, think I just poured my heart out to you all by study. And you shit on me like and that? all you do is sell dope and try to have sex with other niggas' women. And you threw all that knowledge away and say, that what you believe in. Uh, <laughs> think about this, bro. This is, this is almost tear-shedding conviction here. So you mean to tell me from November 19, 1973, all the way up until September 24, 2022, the only fucking thing, the only thing I should have been doing, my only duty, my only job, my only chore, my only task. Sir. Is the fear the boss. Right, and they didn't teach you that. Now, what if I told you there's a second cycle of that going on? Ah, by default, what is the smartphone? By that's, default. That's the Bible, bro. Why is it the Bible? Duh. It's it's it well. There's a specific well, I'll explain it to you. You got the he got it right because he knows this is a Bible. Is this a smartphone or a Bible? Hey, it's both, ain't it? Well, it can only really be one. The Bible. What makes it the Bible by default? Ishmael. Um, uh, what's the scripture I'm looking for? The knowledge of this world is the foolish. The, the knowledge of this world is foolishness to the Lord. I get it. Yeah, yeah kind of, kind of. Dog, I'm sorry about that, bro. The whole time, dog, my own, from the top, for First Corinthians 3, verse 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Right. Now, Damn. who are the wise? The people who made this phone. This is a Jewish invention. And right. So the Lord it. just said he's going to fuck right. them over. Now, if the knowledge of this world is foolishness, that would make. Yep. But there's, there's, there's a problem. There is a problem. What is that? The Bible, bro. Guess what that does? That takes because the, the knowledge of this world is foolishness. That means that all these other apps, how you use this phone through apps, it erases those. And the only one that spiritually you you only see spiritually is this one. Facts. Ooh. So, so, so that's a breach, right? It's a breach. So by 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 it having a holy Bible King James version app. app it null and voids all of the information on the phone because the, the truth is that is it. Right. So Ooh. when you have one of these, they said it's a smartphone. You can only be smart if you know the Bible. But they made sure they put a Bible app on here. So on Judgment Day, all you niggas, the Lord going to say, why you didn't know it? Well, I didn't read the Bible. Yeah, you did. You was on the Bible every day. No, I was. 24-7. No, the smartphone was a Bible. No, it wasn't. It was a smartphone. No, uh, he just lied and called it that. And it is a smartphone because the Bible app was on there. You could download for free. And faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. I put that in there because I knew in the last days you could listen to it. You didn't have to read. No. And you ain't, you ain't even download the app. So you had a Bible and you never even tried to oh read. Oh, my God. So he got Nick. So when Mark Zuckerberg make Facebook, he's saying that's your mugshot for the kingdom. So whatever you did on there, just yeah. know it's booked. 
It's booked, and yeah. he got your face, yeah. all your pictures. Yeah. So you can't yeah. deny what you was doing to the Lord. A yeah. fake Jew put that together. Yeah. He's going to accuse you. Ain't he the great accuser? Yeah. Man, that motherfucker Mark Zuck, we're probably, the Lord like, tell Mark, he can come in. Mark going to come in. What the fuck is he doing here? You was on this platform, asshole. That was part of the deal. So, okay, what was going on? Look, this is what you did. What was I supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be doing 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. Chapter 12, verse 13. That's what you're supposed to be doing. But I ain't really tripping on that. But see, you didn't do it at all. Not even try to. But I ain't had no Bible. I know. And the Lord going to be like, and Esau going to be in the corner laughing at you. Like this whole, this whole, this whole time I had this, you. This whole point, this this whole point of this was just for you to get to the scriptures, you now, fucker. Saying that, what are our women on there doing? Twerking. So they writing a Bible as a, as as twerking. Mm. You taking your this is what they doing their Bible. They taking their Bible, right? That's nasty. Bro. And they and they and they write nasty in it. They write nasty in the Bible. That's what they doing when they take this and do that bullshit. They write nasty in the Bible. They like, ooh, I'm going to just forget you how it shot. Look at my ass. And then right under the words in red. When she when they do that on here, they going right under the words in red in the real Bible. Saying, what did how shot say today? And rip the pages out. Then put two of the pictures of them with their ass out. <laughs> and then say, this the Bible. That's exactly what they doing, and these Jewish motherfuckers know that. Yep. But they under they know you don't have an understanding of that when you yeah. you have to get what what do you say? We gotta break it down to the molecule. When you break it down to the molecule, the black woman is interjecting her wickedness into the Bible. Facts. Why? Because this is a Bible. What is Jake doing? This is what Jake want to do. Jake want to wear a bunch of jewelry and run around and say he can't, he ain't, he ain't scared to get robbed. So you got the, you got the women who the rich niggas like God. having BBLs, tattoos, and twerking and being naked. And then those niggas is wearing a bunch of jewelry, getting shot and killed, and saying, I, I ain't worried about that. If nigga ain't finna do nothing to me. That's our culture. A bunch yeah. of shot up. Bro. When you look at the jewelry the niggas got on their neck, why do you think you supposed to... That was probably a lie. Why do you think you supposed to wear a bunch of jewelry because you a king? King don't need no jewelry. You, you, did you being a king is all the jewelry. Just, just the, the fact that's that you're a king. That's carnal shit. Yeah. When you're a king, dog, that, that speaks to everything. That speaks volumes. Why do a king need to have on all that jewelry? A peasant want that jewelry on because he, he ain't got it. Now, guess what? To just chime and in. And an Edomite want that jewelry because he ain't got it. And to chime in with the elder is saying, three kings right here. Three kings on the big screen. We got, we got any jewelry on us? Nope. Do we need Nigga, it? see the 36 that sick thing. We don't need no jewelry. We kings. Yeah. My mentality say I'm rich. So I can go in a room with Jay-Z and Puffy and I'll be looking at them like, man, them niggas some bums to me. Facts. Like my and then you know what? A Colonel Jake will be like, okay, he tripping. No, I don't think you get it. No, nah, we my mentality will really be sitting in the room with them niggas like, man, I, I I'm killing these niggas. Facts. And if I get in the conversation with them, I already know I can run circles around them. Absolutely. It, it would be embarrassing. I would embarrass Puffy and Jay Z in a joust of knowledge, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. They not on it no level like that. Even with that masonry, they ain't on no level because Absolutely. if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you stuck on stupid. All right, Ted. They got carnal knowledge and carnal money. It looked good, but if you sit down and have a spiritual conversation with them, they ain't got the motherfuckers gonna come apart. They ain't got nothing, bro. How we look on time? It's when your dad closes out, man. It's been a beautiful world, man. I bet you we at what thirty one? I'm gonna say thirty one. Oh, that's my shit. Twenty four. Oh, uh, yeah, you can close us out. Agnes, you got any party shots? You got anything ish? All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekwakadash. Shalom. That's all praises to Yahweh, which is the Father's name. God. All praises to Yahweh Shai, which is the Son's name. God. And Shalom is just greetings. Hello. Back. To the brothers and sisters out there who watch the videos, keep pushing. I am trying to turn over a new leaf. And that new leaf is 
contemptment. That's fair. Not fiery contemptment. I'm talking about, you know, uh, I don't even know what word to use, but I'm going to be a lot more calm because I should really use intellect and a lot of times I use brute force. Kind. But I'm not going to abandon brute force. But brute force is one of those things that once you get into it, it's, you will you get, get it. right. You get addicted, and every time you get mad, you brute force you instead of right using there. your vocabulary and using your uh, in, um, intellect Facts. and articulation to get yourself out of the frustrating moment. Facts. Facts. And there's brothers out there who I watch do that, right. and, and that's inspiration for me. To, and I want to be more like that. Facts. I don't want to be every time I get mad, mother fuck this bitch, mother fuck, you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah. I don't want to be like that all the time. Don't get it twisted. I ain't taking it all off. <laughs> I want to go 70 30 instead of 80 20. I'm going 90 10. 95 5. Right, I'm going 95 5. I'm like, damn, I'm snapping too hard. All lean like a mug. Right, I'm like, damn, all right, chill out. No, no fatness. <laughs> Hey, shit. <laughs> but yeah, hey, hold on, it's for the, for the hang up. Listen, that was beautiful, man. Because if y'all been following us long enough, I always tell y'all, this is the spiritual head. I'm the freight track. Yeah, once he get going, it's a wrap. I'm mm. the freight track. It's hard to keep me. I'm Peter. It's hard to keep me together. Him, he can be in a. It, it can be a hot situation. It. it, it, it He's smooth. So when you see him, I call it acting out. When you when you see him doing that, it, that ain't who he is. That's just an irritable. Yeah, I'm moment. mad. I get yeah. mad and just get to snapping. That's the bottled up. Yeah, this this guy here, it take a lot for him to really go there and meet. Yeah. Just a second him. Yeah. He can walk right through it. So when y'all see, well, you gotta understand. I, I'm, I'm on. I got. I'm on glaucoma medication. Max. He ain't. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You know, if you know what glaucoma medication is, you are it's marijuana. Know. Yeah. Facts. Facts, man. I take marijuana edibles, and and I use glaucoma as an excuse to take them. See that? Look how honest, look how honest that <laughs> is, man. That's why you gotta love this church, man. Cause who already know what we doing? Huh? Yeah, how? Hey, and it's funny too, <laughs> because look, when I came, when I when I was diagnosed with glaucoma. It was almost like your how I was in the car would be like that that now now your bitch ass can use that weed. <laughs> Poor ass nigga. Right. And I was looking at him like Thank you. <laughs> I, I guess what y'all shot told him. Hey. Nah, it was a joke ass. <laughs> hey, do it if you do it if you want to. Or, Eli, Eli, Eli. This is what he said. Eli, Eli. This is what he said. You can use it if you want to. I wouldn't, but I mean, you you can though, cause you got you got Black food. Over. You can. I was taking it more like <laughs> your fool ass was sitting there. You love that shit more than you love me, ass nigga. Uh. So guess what? Here you can use it now. Ah, uh -huh, but you got glaucoma. So <laughs> sucks to be you, ass nigga. Hey, but smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't smoke, but smoke up Johnny and 16 then, candles and then guess what else he told you I, what don't forget my dad still got that bill for you too yes that's that, still bro coming. guess what happened to me while I was cutting hair the last couple of days my damn hand was shaking whoa yeah my hand was starting to was shaking when I put it up like but guess what I honestly think that is because the clipper is wireless. That's, that's a nerve. That's a nerve issue. Yeah. I think I think it's because the clipper is wireless. Because before the weight of the cord, wow, uh, it would that counterbalance. Do that do make sense. Yeah. And so my hand wouldn't shake, but I hold that mug up there, and it's just the clippers. And ain't no cord with no weight that on makes it. Sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I was holding.